Welcome back, Chad from Patriot Astro. I had a few people reach out to me both on Instagram uh, and uh, via email asking me how I put together my rolling mount bases. The one in the back here my C8 sits on with my EQ6R Pro um, has been through a few iterations. It started with a solid axle in the back and soon some pneumatic wheels. I've since converted it to make it a lot smaller and moved to a 360 swivel caster base. For my needs of going in and out of the garage, direct on concrete, I never roll on grass. Um, this for me is the way to go. I mean, I can spin this in any direction. It's super easy to move. Uh, to get a rough polar alignment, it's really easy to, to readjust where I'm not tied to that fixed uh, back axle where it's kind of a lot of back and forth, right? So this is the way to go. Now, if I had to recommend doing this again, unless you want a larger base, I would do what I did the second time here, which was pretty straightforward. I wanted to minimize my cutting and minimize the number of pieces I needed. So fundamentally, it's a two by four, four that's been cut. Um, in this case, I think I actually bought pre-cut two bys to try to minimize cutting even further, but it's a two by four that's set in a T. So basically it goes the width a little bit wider than your base in the back, and then a little bit longer um, than your base in the front to support all three tripod legs. And it's held together and, and fastened together rigidly by this piece of plywood here. And you can usually buy a small piece of plywood. You don't need the full piece, right? You can buy a project section, uh, usually for patching or something like that. So you buy that, you pop the holes in that you need with a paddle drill bit. And then you put some maybe five eighths inch uh, or with uh, uh, lag bolts that you just mount in there. So that holds it together rigidly so that the T underneath sits with the board on top. I'll try to draw this out and pop it on the screen for you. Um, to make sure that the tripod legs don't fall off, I took that same paddle bit and once I sat it down um, on top, I marked where the legs were gonna fall. And then all I did is after marking them, I took the mount back off and then I just took the paddle bit and just set it in about a half inch so that I popped some small little holes in there um, so that it doesn't move, right? So this is not gonna go anywhere. They're sitting down inside a hole. Now from that, um, I did take some clamps and put power on here. Um, I just took a, a, a very small, um, uh, extension cord and mounted it here somewhat permanently. Again, these are 360 degree swivel casters. If you get casters, make sure they are 360 degree swivel and that they are locking casters. So this particular one I can lock by just turning this here uh, and it'll lock in place. And what I found is I only need to lock two of them. Um, certainly I can lock three, but locking two means it's not gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna rotate through the evening. But you can see this is very easy to move around reorient any way I need to, and then even getting it in and out of the garage is quite simple. So it's pretty easy to work with from that perspective. Um, and then again, this one here, I've, I've adjusted it. I like these casters a little bit bigger, uh, a little, I like these casters a little bit better. I'll try to put that in the uh, description as well, but it's really straightforward, not hard to build. If you're going across grass or a more uneven area, um, you may want to go with pneumatic wheels, but for me, if you're just rolling it around something that's concrete, this is the way to go. I mean, super easy to move, super easy to reorient, um, and, and very easy to work with. Now, there is one other thing I want to talk about here, and that is tipping. Um, you want to understand the grade of where you're moving uh, to and from. So I don't have a very steep grade here, but people do get concerned with whether or not you're going to tip. So the science of tipping is whatever your object is, the center of mass cannot come over uh, past the base of your object. So in this case, we've got a triangular base. And if I drew a line from any of the three tripod legs, that's the triangle I'm talking about. And what I wanna make sure is wherever my center of mass is, and the center of mass in your mount is gonna be pretty high because your telescope carries the weight, your counterweights carry the weight and then your mount is probably the heaviest part as well along with everything else so your your center of mass is up here somewhere hopefully in the middle and what you want to do is make sure that that is never going to cross the line uh between any of these legs so if i were to tip you know maybe 20 degrees then i start to have a problem what i will tell you when you start to look at this though the reality is 20 degrees is a pretty steep incline but some of you may have yards or driveways like that so just really think about what you're doing to help alleviate the tipping i mean i'm always holding on to two legs when i'm moving this thing anyway uh, what i did is i actually did find an m12 
um, threaded piece here. Let me try to walk up and show you. So it's an M12 threaded component and it looks just like this. It's just a solid ring that happens to be M12. And this is the same size as the threading underneath here that comes off my mount. And again, you may just have to take this part out, take it to the hardware store and see what the threading is. It's almost definitely metric. But these little rings here, I could thread up on and then I can just get these tie downs. And whenever I want to, I can just simply make this a little bit tighter and tie them down. Now that this is nice and tight, um, again, for me to tip is gonna be quite a challenge because I'm, I'm tied directly to the base. Now you don't wanna to put too much force on this, right? I don't wanna break anything in here, but it is gonna make sure that it would be extremely difficult for this thing to tip without the whole base tipping. And again, when I'm moving it, I'm holding it with two hands. So um, again, hopefully this helps you. If you have questions about the build, let me know. Um, it really is pretty straightforward and makes it a lot easier. If you have somewhere to put it that you can roll out, makes it a lot easier to move. If you have any questions, check the description. I'm gonna to try to put some bits and pieces um, about the components in the description below. Um, additionally, uh, feel free to reach out. You can find my email address on my website at www dot patriotastro.com or on Instagram at, at patriot underscore astro and reach out that way as well or certainly just ask questions in the comments here on YouTube. But if you have any suggestions for other content or anything else you'd like to see, um, if you've seen anything on any of my other mounts or you just have questions about the hardware equipment I'm using, uh, how some of the components work, um, just reach out and ask me and I'd be glad to throw some videos together. I've got a lot of other content planned, um, but certainly I want to get to the things that are most interesting to the people that are watching the videos. Uh, so I appreciate it. Like and subscribe and hopefully we'll see you back here soon.